My name is Huey Lam. I'm a sophomore biomedical engineer, and my team name is KaidoTrans. Our project is a transdermal patch to deliver antibiotics. And so you can think of it as a almost similar to a nicotine patch, except now we are delivering antibiotics that are hard to deliver, such as tuberculosis antibiotics that require injections and urinary tract infection antibiotics that require long-term treatment time. So what makes our product really unique is the use of Kytosan. And the problem with current transdermal patches that, to, that deliver these advanced drugs is that they have a hard time crossing the skin barrier. But interestingly enough, Kytosan is a natural skin enhancer. And so the presence of Kytosan on the skin increases the skin permeability, it has antimicrobial effects, and also is a natural adhesive. My name is Ann Shellam. I'm a junior, and I'm studying mechanical engineering at WashU. Our entry is a refrigerator that's designed for vaccines to be stored at a safe temperature range at the very end of the vaccine cold chain, where there's no power. We currently have the capability with a vaccine technology that's available today to be saving millions of lives. Um, the most difficult part is getting these vaccines to the patients in the developing regions. We're working with very limited resources, unreliable power grids, and lack of training essentially at these health outposts. So what we're trying to do is make a vaccine box that is temperature controlled to the extreme that requires very little maintenance so that there's no room for human error and doesn't rely on a sporadic power grid to keep it running. So we're a team of eight members um, from actually all different parts of WashU. We have a business student that's helping us to figure out our market. Um, we have a biochemistry major that's knows a lot about the zeolite absorption system. Um, we have multiple mechanical engineers, electrical engineers that are working on temperature control, um, and together we work really well.